Hi, I'm Larry Herb, Xbox Live's Major Nelson. Today, I'm excited to show you the brand new fall update for the Xbox One that's rolling out for everyone starting today. We've added a lot of new features based on your feedback, designed to put you at the center of all your Xbox experiences. Let's jump in. Home is the first thing you'll see when you turn on your Xbox, and with this update, we're giving you the control to see the content you care about most all in one place. We start you out at the top of home with the last activity you were doing, along with various activities for you to discover across your console and Xbox Live. Here, you can see friends that are currently playing a game, looking for group posts, tips and tricks, leaderboard comparisons, the status of a game download, and more. All of which are tailored to how you spend your time on Xbox One. Below that, we provided a quick and easy shortcut to My Games and Apps, as well as additional shortcuts to launch some of your most recently played games and apps. The My Games and Apps shortcut is planted right here, so you'll always have the super fast shortcut in the same place. For the first time, we're making it possible for gamers to choose a theme for their entire dashboard. You'll be able to stick with the traditional dark theme or opt for a new light theme. The most dramatic change to home is what happens down here. This section of home is reserved for a completely new concept that we call blocks. You choose what shows up here. You can add a block for any game, any friend, your pins, a shortcut to check out your Xbox Live Gold benefits, the awesome Game Pass library, and more. Oh, and speaking of pins, we heard your feedback. You can now have up to 40 pins. Adding a block is easy. Just select a game or friend, hit the menu button on your controller, and choose Add to Home. That's it. You can add game blocks directly from My Games and Apps, a game hub, or from the list of recently played games at the top of Home or in the guide. Friends can be added to Home from their profile pages or from the new Friends flyout in the guide. If you're not sure where to start with blocks, we can help. We'll show you types of blocks you might be interested in adding at the bottom of your home. Once you've added blocks, you can rearrange them by pressing Y on your controller, then using the left thumbstick to move the entire block up or down in the dashboard. If you decide that you don't want that block anymore, just press X to remove it. The notification system on your Xbox One also gets some new functionality. Time-sensitive activities and statuses will now pop up when your console goes idle. You'll be able to keep up with what's going on with your friends, clubs, broadcasts, and more, even if you're across the room. Personalization doesn't just stop at home. Within Game Hubs, a new Welcome tab will give you an at-a-glance summary of all the content available for the games you love. Popular community content, a summary of the achievement you're closest to, popular broadcasts, and additional features. This fall update for Xbox One introduces a new layout for the guide that's faster and easier to use than ever before. No change here, you bring up the guide by pressing the Xbox button on your controller. When you bring up the new guide, the first thing you'll notice is that the layout has shifted from vertical to horizontal. This allows you to speed through the different tabs using the left thumbstick, D-pads, or the bumpers on your controller. The main tab of the guide contains a quick shortcut back to home, as well as links to My Games and Apps, The Store, Your Pins, and Recently Played Games and Apps. There are also tabs within the guide for achievements, multiplayer, people, communication, broadcast and capture, and system. The guide layout has been optimized to make it easy to find what you want without losing track of where you are thanks to new flyout menus. When you select an item in the guide that requires additional detail, a new flyout will appear. As an example, let's add a friend to home. Hit the Xbox button on your controller to bring up the guide, then navigate to the People tab. Select Friends or Friends in Games, then select a friend from the list. Each step of the way, a new flyout appears with additional detail. From here, navigate down to Add to Home to add a new content block for that friend. 
The multiplayer tab and guide now provides a quick portal into the official and user-generated tournaments that you've joined, and you'll now have more Xbox Arena tournament options to choose from with the addition of World of Tanks and Injustice 2. Stay tuned for more Arena titles. We've also redesigned profiles to enable faster access to recent activity, and the community feed has been updated to show you more content at a glance. Game DVR and Mixer Broadcasting are both getting an upgrade. You'll be able to capture up to 4K HDR game clips and screenshots on Xbox One X. To save space on your internal hard drive, you'll be able to specify an external USB hard drive as your capture location for game DVR content as well. For Mixer, broadcast quality has been automatically upgraded to support up to 1080p across the Xbox One family of devices. The addition of USB webcam support will allow you to use an off-the-shelf USB camera to broadcast yourself on Mixer or video chat with friends using Skype. Note that you'll still need to use a headset to broadcast voice audio with Mixer. You'll also now see all of your Mixer profile stats when you start a broadcast. Xbox One X is coming soon, and if you're an existing Xbox One owner, the fall update will help you get ready to upgrade. Now, you'll be able to back up both your games and console settings directly to an external hard drive. When you're ready to transition to a new Xbox One, including Xbox One X, you'll be able to plug in the hard drive during setup and apply your console settings automatically. If you don't have an external hard drive, no problem. You'll also be able to transfer your games and apps over your home network from one Xbox One to another, either individually or in bulk. You can now also sort and filter your games library to find Xbox One X enhanced games, including 4K and HDR capable titles. 4K content will be available to download ahead of time for some Xbox One X enhanced games, so you don't have to wait for those assets to download when you connect your new console. In addition to everything we just saw, there are tons of other updates throughout the Xbox One. Some of these are little updates here and there on the back end that you may not see, but here are a few more to keep an eye out for. Broadcast previews will now play directly in the Mixer tab of your dashboard. Get personalized assistance as well as tips from the community for the games you play with the new Xbox Assist app. This app will help you troubleshoot issues, check Xbox Live services and apps, search or browse help topics, and more. Finally, we've made it easier than ever to take control of who sees your activity feed with the Others Can See Your Activity Feed privacy setting. For more details on the Xbox One update, head over to Xbox Wire at news.xbox.com or check out my blog at majornelson.com. Thanks for watching.